Testicular torsion is a medical emergency and uh, that occurs when a spermatic cord which provides blood supply flow to the testes is uh, twists and also cutting the blood supply to the uh, testicles. And uh, this incidence normally it is a very painful experience and uh, it requires immediate medical attention uh, to prevent uh, losing uh, the testicle, also that damage of the t tissues near our testicles. If someone experiences sudden severe testicular torsion, swelling or discoloration, they should seek medical help right away. Guys, the topic is uh, testicular torsion, that's what we're going to deal with today. And kindly, if you have not subscribed to Nazvin, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Let us know uh, what you have, the good comments you have about it, uh, so that uh, we can uh, improve this channel as much as possible, so that uh, we get to improve uh, this channel as much as possible. So, on the management part of uh, all, we can say about the cause, what can cause testicular torsion. Testicular torsion is caused by various, uh, uh, various uh, factors. And uh, uh, mostly, number one cause is about, uh, uh, no, most of the time it occurs spontaneously and this can happen at, at any age, but it's, it's more, most common in uh, young male or young men. That is where mostly we get to experience this uh, testicular torsion. The cause is not always clear, but it is believed to be related to anatomy of the spermatic cord where you get that if you have a very long uh, spermatic cord, sometimes it is slightly to coil. That is an anatomical explanation over the same, which may allow the testicle to rotate more easily than normal. So certain factors such as physical activity can also be one of the causes. Trauma or cold temperatures may increase the risk of torsion in some individuals. Additionally, having a family history of testicular torsion or anatomical abnormalities of the testicles or a scrotum can also predispose someone to this uh, condition. So how do we manage testicular torsion or how is it managed? Normally, how is it managed? So most of the time, well, how this uh, testicular torsion is managed, uh, it involves surgical interventions most of the time to untwist the spermatic cord and restore uh, blood flow to the testicle. The procedure usually is performed urgently, is an emergency, is a very critical emergency at uh, this particular point where you need to see your sick, your, uh, the surgeon needs to see that patient immediately so that to, uh, to uncoil that spermatic cord so that we get to save the testes. The procedure is usually performed uh, urgently, ideally within a few hours of symptoms of onset to prevent permanent damage or the loss of the testicle. In some cases, uh, if the torsion is detected early and uh, is still viable, the surgery may be able to fix uh, with manual uh, detorsion, where, but surgery is often necessary to prevent uh, recurrence at that particular point. So after the surgery, the patient may need pain management and they should, they should follow up with the healthcare provider for further evaluation and monitoring. So uh, on the treatment part of it, of the testicular torsion, usually, like I've said, is about surgical intervention to untwist the uh, spermatic cord and also restore blood flow to the affected uh, testicle. This proce procedure is performed urgently so that we get to prevent permanent damage or loss of the testicle. If surgery is delayed at that particular point, uh, the risk of testicular damage increases. In some cases, the, 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 the torsion is detected. It's always necessary to secure the testicle in place and also to prevent future episodes of uh, testicular uh, torsion. However, surgery is often necessary uh, uh, to take place so that we may get a permanent solution for it. 
So, uh, and after surgery, pain management is put in place so that uh, get to get to prevent any future uh, occurrence of the, this uh, testicular torsion. Let me know if you have ever experienced this uh, testicular torsion, if you have a child or someone who has experienced this, and how you get to manage this one in your area or in your places. Let me know how you get to manage because here we get to get uh, surgery, like most of the time I've said, uh, where we get to untwist that cord, spermatic cord, to save that uh, testicle. How can you prevent uh, testicular torsion? That's very important, prevention. Preventing the, the testicular torsion sometimes is very challenging because sometimes, like I've mentioned, the, one of the causes is anatomical. If you have a very long spermatic cord which allows the testicles to move freely, you can get to experience this, uh, uh, sperma, uh, sp uh, this uh, testicular torsion. So, uh, and these things can happen without any warning. However, there are a few strategies that may help reduce the risk. So what I'm going to mention is prevention part of it as, a, as a, a preventive measure. Number one is about avoiding trauma. Be, uh, be very cautious about uh, physical activity and the sports to minimize risk of uh, trauma to the groin area. Especially, the, we have a game here in Africa we call uh, rugby. In America, they call it American football. Director, they call it the American football. Most of the time, there's push and pull, and this really gets to gets to growing, uh, uh, affect our growing. So that is also, if you get to experience such kind of pains, also if you are at risk of getting to a testicular torsion, then you minimize such kind of uh, push and pull, especially the rugby or the American football, as, they, as, they, uh, as we get to call it. Number two is about support, uh, supportive underwear. So especially when you are involved in very intense exercise, wearing supportive underwear is very important, such as briefs or compression sh shorts, where, which may help to reduce the risk of uh, torsion by providing some stability to the testicles. That's why you, you will find the very intense games. Uh, you get the athletes or the, those involved in those uh, uh, exercises they get to wear protective underwear. Number three is about regular self-exams. Performing self-regular exams to check of any changes in size, shape, and also or consistency of the testicles can help detect an abnormality uh, very early. So regular self-exam, and you have to learn on how to do that uh, exam, is very important, especially when you are at risk. And also number four is about prompt uh, medical attention. Seek uh, prompt medical attention if you experience sudden and severe testicular pain, uh, swelling or discoloration, as early intervention is crucial for preventing permanent damage. Number five, and uh, that's the most common way of managing it, consider surgery. And uh, because sometimes you may be told about surgery and uh, you may ignore that uh, you can't do it at that particular point, but surgery is the main point. Is the main way of managing it, because in some cases, individuals with this sort of uh, testicular torsion or certain anatomical uh, abnormalities may opt for preventive surgery to secure testicles in place and reduce reduce the risk of uh, torsion at that particular point. So the the procedure for surgery of the testicles to prevent that torsion is called what you call ocupexy. Ocupex is a O R C H I O P E X Y. So involves attaching the testicles to the scrotum to prevent it from uh, twisting. So it's a special procedure called uh, ocupexy, where you get uh, your doctor to attach the testicles to the scrotum very well, so that the, that uh, testicles don't twist in future. What are the possible com complications of uh, testicular torsion, guys? Number one is about uh, uh, testicular damage, very obvious. If blood flow to the testicle is not restored within the shortest time possible, it can uh, lead to irreversible damage or the loss of the testicle. Number two is about infertility as a complication. In cases where testicular torsion results in, in the damage of both testicles, it can affect sperm production 
and lead to infertility. And something I need to say about infertility, you get to get to infertility level if you lose both of your testicles because at some point you may lose one of their testicles and get to uh, impregnant uh, a woman through the one testicle because what you need is about uh, your sperms to be held and uh, one testicle can easily uh, manage that one you can uh, impregnate a lady through having one testicle but if you lose both of them infertility comes in chronic pain is a complication also which comes about with uh, with this and uh, the, uh, normal, most of the time the, with the kind of patients we see with the uh, uh, testicular torsion it is a very bad pain which you not you even not wish for your enemy uh, it's a very intense pain so uh, chronic pain is uh, is very painful with that torsion it's really really painful and that's why we go for surgical intervention number number four is uh, complication is about uh, current torsion where in some cases despite surgical intervention sometimes it may be done the surgery but uh, testicular torsion can also recur especially if there's an underlying anatomical uh, anatomical abnormalities predisposing to uh, torsion another problem about this because this affects the fertility and also the the, the well-being of a man psychological impact comes in because coping with the, the experience can be very not uh, not very easy resulting complication can be uh, also affect the side the way person uh, functions so that uh, the impact in, through the somebody may develop anxiety may may also develop depression because of the body image concerns especially when we get to very serious complications so early detection and prompt treatment or medical intervention are very key to reduce the risk of uh, uh, testicular torsion complications so that we may save that test. Guys, uh, testicular torsion is a medical uh, emergency characterized by twisting of the spermatic cord. So cutting off blood uh, to the, testi te te the testicle, it is typically presented with sudden and severe uh, testicular pain, swelling or discoloration. On management, it involves urgent uh, surgical intervention to untwist the, the spermatic cord and restore the blood flow uh, to the testicle. So preventive measures include avoiding trauma, wearing supportive underwear, performing regular uh, self exam of the testicles, and seeking prompt medical attention uh, for symptoms. Complications may, may include the testicular damage, infertility, chronic pain, recurrent torsion, and psychological impact. Early detection and intervention and are crucial for minimizing complications and preserving the testicular health. Guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Nazvin. This is where we get to share matters uh, medical in a simple language which you can always understand. And uh, kindly, if you have not subscribed to our channel, I encourage you to subscribe. I like what you are doing. We are sharing in the, 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 our videos a lot. Kindly, we are not getting the, the likes we expect from these videos. Kindly, by liking the video, that's how you get YouTube to recommend our videos to a larger population. Because we want this information to reach many as many people as possible. Guys, welcome, and I want to welcome you to our next video. Peace, guys. Welcome to our next video.